if that seat sensor is not embedded in this freaking cushion, and all you have to do is unplug a wiring harness and unclip this cushion to replace it, I'm gonna be pissed. I'm gonna be fucking pissed. Oh no, we'll say a $1,500 seat. $1,200, whatever it is. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry, I can't contain myself. So, guess what I found? This is a cushion. Here's the fucking seat sensor. It unclips. They'll be here shortly then. <laughs> My wife's like, you're a madman. I am a madman because I've been dealing with this problem for how long? What the hell? Are you serious? Are you freaking serious? Look at this. Can you see this? No, you can't see this. This thing right here. What the fuck? Oh, look, there's one little plastic clip. Oh, that's another little plastic clip. Oh, wait, wait, this this thing, this non-replaceable thing, um, it, it magically comes unplugged. And, oh! Passenger restraint system fault can be fixed by replacing this. Lifting up the cushion. Hell, I, actually, I think you could probably lift the front part of the cushion without taking the seat apart. Pop those two clips. Reach under the seat, unplug that. And you could slide a new one in there. This thing was not, like, glued or adhered or... I mean, it wasn't embedded in the cushion like they said it was. This is ridiculous. This is the problem. The seat is not the problem. <sighs> Unbelievable. Well, I know how I'm fixing my car. Maybe I'll have to do a video of Chaint replacing this thing in the uh, old dark night over here. <laughs> Sorry, I can't contain myself. This is ridiculous. Okay, that's all for now. Just for shits and giggles, I have moved the seat back as far as I can go raised the front of the seat all the way up and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna reach under here and pull Now, check this out. So all I did was reached under and pulled this up, right? Oh, what is that? So I'm gonna pop these little plastic clips here. Boop. And boop. hard to see this one. Oh, look. One. Come out of there. All right. Here's one. And the other one. Oh, okay. Got those two. Now, the module is... Okay, so if it plugs in, it looks like it's... Yeah, it wouldn't be like that. So I gotta push. I gotta push down and pull it out. Um... It's just hard to do when... Oh wait, no, there it is. There it is. I got it now. 
I just couldn't feel what I was doing. Of course, I got one hand, I need another hand to pull the wire. Putting it in will be able, up oh, there it goes, boom. Okay, now you're gonna see this first hand here. I'm gonna lift this plug out and it come out. Wait, does that mean I can put I can put this one in here? Can I can I put this one in here? And then put the plug back through the little rubber hole. Okay, little we'll plug through the rubber hole. I'm gonna reach under here. I'm gonna grab it. And sorry, I'm, I, I know I sound like an asshole, but this has driven me nuts. Every time the oh look, I plugged it in. Every time the wife gets in the car, it says passenger restraint system fault. And then I have to hear that. When are you gonna fix the seat? When are you gonna fix it? You gonna buy a new seat? Oh look, I plugged that one in. And where's the other one at? Over here. And clip. Okay. Now this may be the hardest part. Actually flipping this back over and <laughs> tell me please tell me you got all that it's it's done <laughs> hey uh tesla what's the issue <laughs> that that was non-invasive and I replaced it in like well, less than five minutes. Oh, God. Thanks for watching.